suggested a good idea to continue our visit with Autumn. He got the tickets for the show in the PhotoLink library. The first frost of the season gets you to thinking, how much time left before Autumn bids farewell and heads to parts unknown? Good thing Donald Serfaz of Tamaqua got this shot. Want more proof of a fading season? Here it is, and the frost on Dutch Mountain almost looks like a light snow cover. Donna Halibut of Dushore sent it along. A mystical morning, perhaps best described some autumn mornings. Mary Prout sent this image along from Orangeville. Another morning, another place entirely, an early morning view of the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon from Wellsboro. Melinda Heimbach of Sealands Grove was there to see it. A closer look at a foggy morning. This one is in Huntington Mills and it came from Avis Miller of Berwick. Sharon Crowitz of Dallas perhaps best described an autumn morning as a work of art. Can't argue that, at least for most. This was in Collie Township. But if morning isn't your cup of tea or coffee, don't despair. There are plenty of pictures to be had. Fall foliage reflections from Dave Walsh of Shavertown taken near Bushkill Falls. And look here, a bit of magic in the sky, a sun dog over in New Milford caught by Diane Marshman. Maybe the same one in this photo by Darlene Engel of Lewisburg. It was taken on the same day as the other, but in Williamsport. A road trip is always a good thing, but when it comes in autumn, it's especially good. Rodney Kratzer of McClure heading down Hunter Road. Janie Stabinski of Mahoopany took a walk along Douglas Hollow Road in Wyoming County. Brittany Kirshner of Berwick walked along a woodland path in the Susquehanna woodlands. Time is flying, isn't it? Not perhaps as fast as this eagle John Kanupka of Suarezville caught in Luzerne County, but it's moving along and will soon be gone. So sit and look at all the color as Mel Wolk suggests in this shot from Starlight Lake. Take a picture while you're at it and send it on in to the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens and we'll see you next time. That does it for News Watch 16 at 6 of Next World.